Okay, everybody, we're going to start with the abs. What we're going to do is have our feet about shoulder width apart. Have one foot in front of the other. Bring your arms up, and we're going to do a pelvic tilt. So you just like do a crunch, but standing up instead of laying on your back. So you want to do five of those. Then what you're going to do is tap your foot forward. Five of these. And then you're going to do five, bringing your knee in. Just like that. Then we're going to do three sets of that on each side. So this is what it looks like from the side. Just like this. Then the tapping. Then bringing the knee up. I don't want to see you going like this. You're not really using your abs then. Bring your hips forward. Just like that. To modify this, don't bring your leg back as far. Bring it a little bit closer so you're more like this. And for better balance, have your feet wider instead of more narrow. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do a downward dog to tapping the ankles. So get into plank. Have your shoulders over your wrist. And make sure your core is engaged. And then go up. And then it doesn't matter what leg you start with, but bring one up to the sky and then bring it down and tap your ankles and then bring it up and tap your ankles again. You want to do five of these on each side. The modified version, you don't bring your leg up as high. So you only go about like this. All right. From there, we're going to go into an elbow plank, just like this. Hold it for 15 seconds, then go down into downward or into child's pose, and then back into plank. We'll do three sets of those. The arms, what we're going to do is go into the plank again. But this time, we're going to lift up into downward dog. Bring it forward. Do that five times, then take a rest, and you'll do three sets of those as well. For the modified version, what you do is you just kind of bend the legs a little bit. All right. We're going to do wide push-ups now. So it's just a push-up, but instead of having your arms and shoulders, hands and shoulders line up, bring them a little bit wider. Do five in a row. And then take a rest. And then do two more sets of that. For a modified version, what you do, you go down on the knees and then do the push-up. Next, what we're going to do is a pile push-up series. So if you do pile, you know what I'm talking about. When you do a tricep push-up, just remember, bring your elbows in towards your body. Don't let them flail out. They need to stay in, right along the side. So you roll down. Step three times with your hands. One, two, three, into a plank. Then you do three tricep push-ups. walk three times back. One, two, three, and then roll up. The modified version for this, you can either do the tricep push-ups on your knees, or you can just go, roll down and hold the plank. And I'll show you that. You want to do three sets of that. All right, now we're going to work on our buns. So go down onto your knees, put one elbow on the ground and the other one out here for support on the fingertips. So it will look like this. The leg, which elbow is down on the same side, bring that one in and then up towards the sky. 
Make sure your abs stay engaged and you're not rounding your back or arching it. You don't want to do this. Keep it engaged and just move the leg. Do 10 of those and then you do 10 short. Then you do 10 crossing. And then you switch to the other side. And then you do two more sets. So there's a lot of sets in there. And then next, what you're going to do is with the straight leg. So same position, but you just bring your leg straight back and then lift it up. So t 10 of these, and then 10 short, and then 10 crossing. And then you switch to the other side and do two more sets. And that is it for today. Good job, guys.